this is our next to last individual piece before we start putting things together. This is the monkey bar, which is not to be confused with the monkey pole you made very early on. This is going to be the top piece that you would climb across uh, on a set of monkey bars. So this is the final piece right here. We'll show you how to make that. Of course, we'll come up here to iPro and select a new piece, standard.ipt. And we'll draw this in our traditional X and Y plane. We're going to make a rectangle. If you look at your dimension sheet here, that's 96 inches wide, 6 inches tall. So 96 by 6. Hit enter. And we're going to finish that sketch. And we'll extrude that. Six inches. Enter. You should have something like that. Now, we're going to put some holes across the front. Looking at our dimension sheet, we have seven holes, two inches across, all the way through. So I'm going to click on my Create 2D Sketch and click this front face right here. Magnifying glass so I can see everything. I'm going to select my point tool up here in the draw ribbon. Come down here, and I want to be over 12 inches on the X axis, and my Y should be 3. So if it defaults there, that's fine. We'll type in the number 3. Hit Enter, and there's our first point. Now I'm going to come up here to Repeat Pattern, or Rectangular Pattern. Click our point. What do we want to repeat? That's the geometry. Now it wants to know what direction, so I'm going to click the red arrow and click this bottom piece. My arrow is pointing to the right, that's what I want. If it's not, just hit the flip button. This column, of course, tells you how many you want. You want seven, and you want them 12 inches apart. Click OK, and there are your seven points. Finish the sketch. Hole all the way through. And these are two inches around. Hit enter. And there's your final piece. Color it however you want. I'm going to use this one right here that's already colored. Save as. And this is the monkey bar. Make sure you save that in your playground folder up here. That's under your Z drive or H drive. If it doesn't default to there, make sure you're putting stuff in there. And click save.